Hi everyone, I'm Sai Priya, Senior Cloud Engineer from the Innovation Team. Let's talk about configuring Oracle Digital Assistant for a private PeopleSoft instance. In this video, I'm going to talk about architecture of the proposed solution. Go over the step-by-step -step procedure to configure the FSCM PeopleSoft chatbot, for which I'll walk you guys through the process of configuring a virtual cloud network, a Windows instance in the public subnet, FSCM PeopleSoft instance in a private subnet of the same VCN, followed by API Gateway to expose the PeopleSoft REST connectors endpoint, and then we are going to configure the skill. Finally, we will test the bot. The chatbot integration framework consists of components in PeopleSoft and Oracle Digital Assistant. The PeopleSoft application enables the users to expose the application logic through application classes which are then exposed as REST services to be consumed by the chatbot. Since we are utilizing a private PeopleSoft instance, a gateway is required to expose this endpoint. Consequently, we will leverage an API gateway within the OCI to expose the PeopleSoft REST listening connector. You will gain a more detailed understanding of this process by reviewing the API gateway configuration in this video. Log into your Oracle Cloud account and start by creating a VCN with internet connectivity. Enter the name of the VCN and the CIDR range. And now create the VCN. Update the security list to add an ingress rule to allow all protocols within a public subnet. In the navigation menu, go to the compute and then instances and create a compute instance. Give it a name here I'm going to select the image as Windows Server 2012 R2 Standard Edition. Select your VCN and then Public Subnet. Hit the Create button. Here, my tenancy has limited E4 shapes, so I'm going to pick the shape as E5 Flex. Now connect to the instance using the Remote Desktop app. Enter the username as OPC and password as the one which is generated on the OCI console. Reset your password and enable the network connection. Go to the internet options and reduce the security level of the zone. This will enable you to use internet and download any applications as per your need. I'm going to now install Chrome and Putty. The next step is to create a PeopleSoft FSCM instance, for which enter the compute instance name and select the image from the marketplace. Look up for PeopleSoft FSCM image. Select the private subnet of the VCN. I'm going to reuse my SSH key here. And then specify boot volume size as 400 GB. Go to the advanced option and paste the cloud in its script. Make sure you do not have any additional indentations in the script. Hit the create button. The instance should be up and running. You can now navigate to the private subnet of the VCN and update its security list. I'm going to open the ports for PeopleSoft as listed here. We are also going to open the port 80 and 443 for HTTP and HTTPS requests. I went ahead and saved the private key file that is id underscore rsa in the downloads folder within the Windows server. You can load this file to generate the private key.ppk file. This file can be used by Putty to access the private PeopleSoft instance. Log in as OPC user and check the logs. You'll observe that the silent installation has begun. Keep in mind, this is going to take at least two hours to finish the installation. After successful installation, PIA URL will be generated. Now, let's access the portal. Enter the VP1 and the password that you created. After successfully logging in, we will now create a user. Navigate to People Tools and then to User Profiles. In the User Profiles, add a value. Give the user ID as PSFT proxy and add the user. Select the symbolic ID as sysadmin1. Enter the new password and confirm the password. Now, enter the PSFT proxy in the user alias. Switch to ID tab and select the ID type as none. Now switch to the Roles tab and add EOCB service user and PTCB user. Now let's navigate to the user we have just logged in with. So that is VP1. Switch to the Roles and add the EOCB client user 
and PTCB user along with EPRO requested inquiry bot and then save the changes. By default, the chatbot service endpoint is restricted, for which we will navigate to People Tools, Integration Broker, and then Service Configuration. And under Restricted Services tab, look up for PTCB APPL SVC and uncheck the service. Also make sure the authentication service EOCB APPL SVC is also unrestricted. Let's look up for the REST Listening Connectors endpoint for which navigate to People Tools, Integration Broker, Service Operation Definitions, and search for PTCB APPL SVC service. Open the Get Service Operation and update the verification type as basic auth. Copy the REST based URL endpoint in your notepad. Update the verification type to basic auth even for the post endpoint. Go back to Integration Broker and navigate to Application Services. Select Administration and then Application Service Security. Under the Token Required tab, select the chatbot token type as PSFT instead of OAuth2 and then save the changes. The next task is to expose the PeopleSoft REST listening connector for the ODA to consume. Switch to the OCI console and navigate to API Gateway. Create a gateway. Here, we are calling it as request a bot underscore PSFT. Select the same VCN and the public subnet. Once the gateway is active, you can create a deployment. Give it a name and a path prefix. Go to route section and update the path as follows. Add both get and post methods. Now, use the endpoint you just copied in the notepad. If not, Navigate to the service operation definitions and copy the REST listening connectors endpoint under the PTCB APPL SVC. Try to verify it's working by pasting this endpoint in the same web browser and add a describe path parameter at the end. This will display the list of application services available. Now, you can add the same URL under the route section and add a request path parameter as follows. Hit the create button. Go ahead and test the describe endpoint with the API gateway URL that is generated. If the API gives 200 response, the API will work as expected. Also, create an endpoint for the authentication URL. Give the name of the deployment and a path prefix. Go ahead and add a route. Add get and post methods. Now, Add the API as follows for the authentication. Copy both the endpoints in a notepad. Open the ODA console on OCI. Switch to Skill Store and look up for EPRO chatbot. The option to pull is grayed out as a skill is already available inside the Skills tab. We will clone the skill and train it. Now switch to the configuration settings and update the custom parameters. Go ahead and update the PeopleSoft base URL and the authentication URL from the notepad. We will now configure the skill on PeopleSoft. On the PeopleSoft console, go to the Enterprise Components and Global Chatbot Configuration. Update the ODA server URI. You are going to create a bot definition by selecting the plus add button. Enter the bot name and update the channel ID from the ODA console. Here, we need to provide EOCB client user role and save the changes. Update the global settings, look up for the bot's name. Select the employee portal where you need to deploy the chatbot. Click the next button. Finally, go ahead, submit and then enable the bot. Time to test. Click on the chat widget on the page and look up for the delayed items in the tester. The chatbot now provides a detailed response.